everybody, welcome back. Uh, this week we're gonna be working with vMix again, but this time we're going to be incorporating the ATEM Mini Pro into that and using it to sub switch all of our cameras. So real quick rundown of the setup we have here. We have the trusty Sony camera in the corner, my GoPro over here, a third camera with a lot of icons and things and whatever, whatever that box is. But we have three cameras and that's the point. So this is our vMix setup. So what else are we gonna bring in today? Well, I wanna bring in a couple different videos. So a full screen video, which is our intro, a subscribe video. And this is why I wanted to bring this video in is I want to color key. I'm gonna grab the color. I'm gonna turn on chroma and the whole thing goes away or all of the, uh, the green goes away. And now I can launch that whenever I want. And lastly, I'm gonna bring in a title, kind of piggybacking on what we did last week. So here we go. So what can you do with these? We can, we can launch lower thirds. We can take lower thirds out. We can launch graphics or, or video playback that have a lot of chroma out. So they go through and hold on, hold on the last cell, take those out. We can even launch full screen videos. All right, cool. Well, all that's real fun, but how do we make that work into a show? Well, what I wanna do is go through a couple of different things. Let's say we know we're gonna start with the video. And immediately after the video is over, we wanna to go to our camera shot. So I'm gonna create a trigger If you look right here, I've got a stream deck again. Someone got me a new stream deck. So there's two ways we can use the stream deck. As we know, we can use the BitFocus companion program, or we can just use vMix. So I'm going to show you both of those. All right. So instances vMix. I already have the two instances up. I already have the two instances up. Um, for the vMix, this is the default IP because it's a local host. I did not change any settings that the, that the BitFocus companion didn't already supply. The ATEM, I did have to type in the IP address as always. And there we go. So what do we want to do? Well, I want to play a video. So... Regular button, intro video, and since vMix is kind of the backbone for this, everything's going to run through vMix, so I don't have to do anything to the ATEM at this point. I just need to tell video, set input to program, that input is going to be input number two. Input two, it's gonna go through mix one. Okay. Now I can still keep that trigger in vMix up. That way when the video ends, it's going to take me to my, um, my A10 mini. Let's do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the A10. I'm going to set input to program and it's going to be camera one. So what happens is, let me set that. What happens is right now, let me see where I need to see. So right now I, my A10 mini is on input four, which is my uh, mirroring my desktop. So you can see what I'm clicking. So I'm going to press this button Three, two, one. My video plays. 
My ATEM has already switched to my main camera and it launches in, I'm fine. Okay, as well as 10 seconds later, that goes away. So I'm doing a combination of triggers and buttons. Yeah, subscribe video. Okay, so let's make a new button, regular button. Subscribe video. VMix. Overlay, toggle overlay one to program, input three. Yes, it's input three. Two, go back here, press the button, plays the video. Okay, so there is one more way you can do this. So I'm using the official Elgato software. I have a page of nothing but VMix things. Okay. So here's a fun thing about vMix. A lot of times, especially when it first came out, if you didn't have your external monitor or whatnot plugged up, it would never see it. So there's still an instance with vMix where you gotta plug everything up first and then launch the program. It's kind of annoying. But luckily there's also that button that says last and we can just grab what's last. We're gonna make buttons again. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what the joke behind that one is. Uh, this time we're gonna make them in VMix. So let me get all my ducks in a row. So we're gonna to go to settings, shortcuts. And you can see I've already made a couple. So we're going to remove all of these and we wanna do what we just did. So now we're gonna add one, find, hold down and I keep it held down um, on the stream deck, click okay. Functions, what do we wanna do? Well, let's do what we did to begin with. We're gonna do an input, we're gonna activate an input and we're going to have the intro video play. And then this is always the fun part, the thumbnail. So it's literally gonna show me a thumbnail of the video or the input on my stream deck. So but that, all that's gonna do is activate it. It's going to take that video and it's gonna put it in the program, but it's not gonna play it. So we need to play it. So function, input, play. Nope, not that one. Intro video. Let me just make that. Okay. And we're gonna let that close out. So as we can see on our multi-view, now since this is VMix, it cannot control the A10 Mini. Have that as you will. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press this button and then I will manually move the camera over so we're back at the right camera. So one, and we come back here, all the triggers are still there, so all of that works. The next button I wanna make, you know what, let's make two more buttons. Let's make shortcuts, add, find, hold this down. Oop, tell you what, let's, let's just see if that works. I've never done that one before. Um, overlay and overlay one off. No thumbnail, okay. And now, um, so there we go. Overlay, overlay one, actually overlay one in. I don't think it really matters on this one. Um, subscribe video. I do want the thumbnail so I know which video it is. I'm gonna click okay. We're on camera view. Um, I want to fire, that goes, plays through, goes away. Now the reason it went away is because there's a trigger 
on that input that tells it on completion go away. So I, I did have to make that. It will not do it by itself. Um, but let me check our third button, which is overlay off. There you go. And it did it on the regular button. So there we go. A couple different ways to do things. I If I had to pick one, I think making triggers with vMix and then using the BitFocus Companion program to run your Stream Deck is a much more efficient way. Yes, the preview showing up is really, really nice, um, but I can label things, that's fine. Like, I will deal with it because circumnavigating that insanely long list is nightmarish, almost. So that's it for me. Um, I think me five minutes ago I had something to say about this. What, what, did, what did you want to tell us? I, I just, sorry, this is the fun part about editing. I'm throwing, I'm going to, I'll throw this in at the end. I've just spent 15 minutes about covering the next five minutes on what I'm going to show you. Um, and then realized I wasn't recording in vMix. So you didn't see any of it. I've literally just been in a room talking to myself. Yay. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's not funny. That's not funny.